Even Melanie's News is here, where I mean about things in the entertainment world that are entertaining to me, and sometimes a few other random videos as well. But whatever I'm using about, hopefully you guys come along for the ride. Today I'm back with a book review. Yes, it's been a little while since I did one of those, but quick reminder, or for those that are new, my reviews for books are always completely spoiler free. No spoilers here. However, if it's quite a way through a series, like this one is, there may be a few plot points that get brought up that happened way back in the series. I find that when you get way into a series, sometimes there's just no way to avoid it without the review just not making sense. So, everybody ready? Today, I am thrilled to be talking about Raphael, the new story that just released by Laurel K. Hamilton in the Anita Blake series. Raphael is actually book 28 in this series. Can you believe that? Book 28, that is absolutely incredible. And this book is a little bit different. It, I'm gonna compare it to Jason, which is another one that's earlier in her series. Some people would say this is a novella. For me, it's a full length novel. It, it, it does come in at about 300 pages, but it is definitely mm, probably about half the length of some of her other more recent books. Sucker like Punch, I think, came in at about 600 pages, and then Serpent Time before that at about 500 pages. So it is on the shorter side, but she did announce that it was gonna be a short story, and to me, this is a very long short story. This is this is definitely a novel, in my opinion. But hey, you know, you can call it whatever you like. I know I've said this before in other reviews, but I have to say it again. The world that Anita Blake is set in is just by far my favorite world to go and play in. And you know, people who follow my reviews know I love a lot of book worlds, but there is just something so dark and so entreating about this world that I literally, whenever I open an Anita Blake book, I just feel like I'm slipping in somewhere I know so well. Not to say that these books are predictable because they are anything but, but I just love them. For those familiar with the series, Raphael might have been a big clue that this book is indeed gonna follow Raphael, King of the Rat or the Rodair. At 28 books in, this series is so vast now that each book tends to focus on one little area of the world. I mean, honestly, there's no way to get all the information about everything in all the books. It would just be completely impossible. But Laura K. Hamilton does a really good job of taking you where you need to go. Well, taking me where I need to go anyway. Some people might not agree, some people might not be happy, but I can only give you my opinion, and that's my opinion. I love it. So Raphael has been in the series, sort of more in the background from the very beginning. He's been floating around. There's been lots of other books that have had incidents involving him, and some of them do get mentioned in this book. I won't go into detail, but in case people will do want to go back and read the full stories from the beginning. Yes, I know 28 books sound daunting, but trust me, you'll love it. Just start, keep reading, and then you'll get here, and then you'll know what I'm talking about. But yes, lots of history with Raphael, and you get to see some of the other relationships developing as well. There's a lot of Claudia in this book. I love Claudia, huge fan of Claudia. She's definitely not your typical girl next door, but as we know with most of the characters in the Anita Blake world, girl next door is not something you're gonna come across very often. This book actually manages to give readers a lot of information in not many pages. When the book comes in at just under 300 pages and you still get mentions of a lot of metaphysical stuff that's going on, you learn some new magical things that you didn't know. You get to have interactions with not all of the main cast or what I tend to think of as Anita's inner circle, but there are a lot of faces that pop up, a lot of faces, a lot of names that haven't been around so much in the last few. They are right here, back in your face. One in particular that I was pretty surprised about, which I'm not gonna say because spoilers, but I had mixed feelings. Mixed feelings on this character being back. But that won't stop me from wanting to read on and find out what happens. A lot of the story does focus on the Rodea mythos, which we don't really know that much about. And suffice to say, their shifter rules are a little bit different to many of the other theory and tropes that we have encountered. And the fact that Laura K. Hamilton can keep bringing all of this in and surprising me at 28 books in and have me turning the pages like a frantic lunatic is crazy. The imagination in this woman's head is just beyond anything that I can even describe. And I'm also finding that this one is really hard to do without spoilers, but it's 28 books in, so there's a lot of spoilers floating around. For fans of the series who want to know what is going on with certain nuptials, very little about those in this book. I'm not even sure if that's gonna be up in the next book. If I had to place a guess, I would say mm, probably not. There seems to be a lot of other stuff going on right now. 
And events at the end of this one definitely leave me with a lot of questions that I'm looking forward to getting answered. As I mentioned before, this is book 28, 28 books in the Anita Blake series. First one is Guilty Pleasures. I do recommend that you start from the beginning. There is so much stuff that has happened in these people's lives that if you don't start at the beginning, it's really not gonna make a whole lot of sense to you at this point. I know from seeing other posts and things that people have sort of read the first ones and then skip the middle ones and jump towards the end ones. I don't know how you do that. There's so much information that I personally feel you need. You should start from the beginning and read through. The tone of the books do change from the earlier ones, but just as in real life, people have experiences and they grow and they change. And this is very, very well reflected as the story has progressed. Okay, I'm gonna start getting really rambly now, so I'm gonna wrap this up. Raphael by Laurel K. Hamilton, book 28 in the Anita Blake series. An easy five star read for me. If I could give it more than five stars, I absolutely would. Huge thank you if you stuck around to hear my thoughts. Please do all the fun YouTube things, like, comment, and subscribe. Especially comment, let me know if you read the series. I had some wonderful comments last time, but some of which disagreed with what I thought of the book. I don't mind that. I'm happy to read any of your opinions. It's a bit like a movie. Everybody will read this book in a slightly different way. And I love that. I love reading other opinions, but please, please, please do keep big spoilers out of the comments. I would hate for someone to come and watch my spoiler-free video. I need to have a spoiler pop up and ruin everything in the comments. I do moderate them. I will delete them if I see it, but please be nice. Think twice before you post. If you think it would be fun to come chat with me, join me on my Facebook page every Sunday at noon Eastern time. I'm live with my husband, Greg. We do talk about books, TV, movies. We have giveaways. All of the cool people are there. So if you're a cool person, you should be there because if you're not there, well, you're probably somewhere else. Also check out my website, melaniesmuses.com. I'm hoping to have a review up of Raphael from all the Susan Harris as well. She's gonna jump on and write up a review and we'll put the two up together. So that'll be pretty awesome. Hey, double review. Again, no spoilers. And of course, click that little notification bell so you don't miss the next video that I post. Who knows what that will be? New for 2021, we have Mail Call Mondays and Forgotten Features Fridays. We have book reviews and random musings and all sorts of things. But you should definitely click that notification bell and come and join me because you never know what you're gonna get. And that's always kind of fun, right? Okay, with that, I'll say goodbye and I'll see you next time. Bye.